Kurashiki Perfect Guide. 30 Recommended Street Foods. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is about street food in Kurashiki, Okayama. We will introduce 30 foods including historical Japanese sweets and the popular egg sandwich. We'll also share a lot of useful travel tips, so please watch until the end. Now, let's get started! We have arrived at Kurashiki Station. This time, we will introduce these five sections. First, let us explain how to get to Kurashiki in Okayama Prefecture. When you go to Kurashiki from Tokyo, Osaka, or Kyoto, you can take the Shinkansen to Okayama Station and then take a train to Kurashiki Station. It takes about 1 hour and 20 minutes from Shin Osaka Station to Kurashiki Station. It takes about 1 hour and 30 minutes from Kyoto Station. And it takes more than 3 hours and 30 minutes from Tokyo Station. By the way, to get to Okayama Station to Kurashiki Station, you will take the Sanyo Line or the Hakubi Line departing from platforms 1 and 2. Both of them will arrive at Kurashiki Station in about 16 minutes, and the fares are the same. The distance from Tokyo Station to Kurashiki Station is far, so using an airplane is also recommended. It takes about 1 hour and 15 minutes to get from Haneda Airport to Okayama Airport. From Okayama Airport to Kurashiki Station, it's a bit far, but there is a direct bus available, so it's easy to access. You can purchase a ticket at the bus ticket vending machine right in front of the airport. It takes about 35 minutes to Kurashiki Station. When you go to Okayama Airport from Kurashiki Station, you don't need to purchase a bus ticket. Just tap your Suica card when you get on the bus. When traveling between Tokyo and Kurashiki, whether by Shinkansen or by airplane, the cost is almost the same, so please choose the way to travel that suits you best. Let's head to the Bikan Historical Area, which we're introducing this time, from Kurashiki Station. It's easy to get there. Just walk straight along the street once you exit from the south exit. After about an 11-minute walk, you'll see the entrance on your left. This is the Kurashiki Bikan Historical Area, our destination this time. It's a tourist spot with the Kurashiki River flowing through the center. Most of the buildings in this area were constructed before 1870 and are now designated as a historic preservation district. You can experience a retro Japanese atmosphere, making it popular not only among Japanese but also among people from overseas. When you walk down the narrow alley, you will find many historic white-walled buildings. There is also a mixed-use tourist facility called Kurashiki Ivy Square, which was renovated from a building built in 1889 in the British style. There are many places in this area that will make you want to take photos of buildings and scenery, so you won't get bored even if you walk around all day. When you visit this place, we recommend taking a riverboat. You can purchase tickets inside this building in the center of the Beacon Historical Area. The cost is 500 yen for adults and 250 yen for children, and you don't need to make a reservation. It takes a literally cruise in the Kurashiki River for about 20 minutes, so you can see a different view of the historic district compared to when you're walking. Please note that it's a suspension of service during the year-end and New Year holidays, as well as on weekdays from December to February. Now, let's go on our food tour! For your information, most shops close around 5 p.m., so if you want to visit various shops, it's better to go early. First, let us introduce this shop, 
Unakita. It's a specialty shop for eel dishes established in 1922. You can dine in the restaurant, but this time we will introduce onigiri that you can easily enjoy as takeout. It's topped with a thick and large slice of eel. It has a pleasant aroma of sancho pepper. The rich sauce, which has been passed down for a hundred years, has a deep and sweet flavor. The eel is tender and soft, and it melts in your mouth. It's nice that you can easily taste the eel from a historic restaurant. Next up is this shop, Koedo. It's a traditional confectionery shop established in 1856. With a history of over 160 years, we will introduce two types of kibi dango, local specialty sweets in Okayama. The first is a classic one, which comes in a cute package. Kibi dango is a rice cake flavored with fragrant millet. It has a mild sweetness because it's made by combining glutinous rice and melt syrup. The texture is soft and chewy, melting in your mouth. The size is small, so it's easy to eat. Next, we will have Kibi Daifuku, a variation of Kibi Dango. It's a Koido original food, which is sprinkled with soybean flour on the surface of Kibi Dango. The fragrant aroma and natural sweetness of soybean flour are nice. Inside, there is sweet red bean paste. It has a subtle sweetness and a smooth texture. It's a recommended Japanese confectionery for those who like sweets. Next, we will introduce Kurashiki Denim Street. Kurashiki is the birthplace of Japanese denim. And you can find a variety of items made from denim fabric, not just jeans. When you go to the narrow alley next to the shop, you will find a takeout counter. There is a wide variety of items, but this time we'll try the denim bun. This is a Chinese bun colored blue using natural food coloring from gardenia flowers. The dough is moist and chewy. Inside, there is a filling of pork and cabbage, and it's juicy. It looks unique, but it tastes delicious. The next place is Kurashiki Pudding. It's a pudding specialty shop that reopened in November 2022 and is popular on social media. There are classic puddings, but we'll introduce two special ones. First up is the pudding with Kipi Dango. The kibi dango is flavored with soybean flour and brown sugar syrup. It's sweet and melt in your mouth. The pudding has nice aroma of vanilla beans. It has the natural sweetness of eggs and milk. It makes you happy when the kibi dango and pudding melt in your mouth. Next up, we will have a pudding with blue jelly inside. The jelly, which is inspired by the color of denim, has a soda flavor. It's sweet, but the aftertaste is refreshing. It goes well with the pudding, which is made with plenty of heavy cream. This is a pudding you can only enjoy here, so give it a try. The next place is Kurashiki Megan. It's an udon restaurant that opened on March 11, 2023. At this place, it's a self-service style when you can boil udon yourself. We'll introduce the udon that comes in a cup, which is only available for takeout. The staff will make it after you order, so it's not self-service. You can choose the topping either plum or beef, but we chose beef. It contains beef, green onions, wakame seaweed, tempura bits, and sauce, so you should mix it well before eating. The udon is thick and chewy and is delicious. The beef is seasoned with a sweet, savory, and rich flavor. The texture of the green onions and wakame seaweed add a nice accent. 
It's nice that it's in a cup, so it's easy to eat. The next shop is Kurashiki Momoko Kurashiki Chuo Store. This shop is a sweet store that uses seasonal fruits, and there are four branches in Kurashiki. The parfaits for dine in are popular, but this time we will have the most popular soft serve ice cream in this shop. It's made with Shimizu white peaches from Okayama Prefecture. Shimizu white peaches are the highest quality peaches in Okayama, known for their incredibly juicy and soft, melty texture. The sweetness of peach and milk spreads in your mouth. It has a pleasant aroma and concentrated peach flavors. There is also a mix of peach and milk, so you should try it. The next place is Seto Uchi An. This is a shop where you can buy souvenirs made from seafood and ingredients caught in Seto Uchi, the largest inland sea in Japan. Let us introduce two of the especially popular foods at this shop. First up, we will have the Chinese bun filled with oysters. There is a grill stamp on it, and it's cute! The dough has a soft and fluffy texture. Inside, there is a filling of oysters and pork, and it's juicy. The crunchy texture of the bamboo shoots is a nice accent. The wonderful aroma of the oysters stimulates your appetite. Next is chimaki, made by wrapping glutinous rice in bamboo leaves and steaming it. Inside, there is a large oyster. It has a plum texture and a sweet taste. The glutinous rice is seasoned with soy sauce, giving it a rich flavor. This chimaki allows you to taste the chewy texture of glutinous rice and the umami of the oysters. Next shop is Kurashiki Ufu Ichigo. It's a specialty shop for strawberry sweets that opened in June 2022. There are a variety of items like balm kuchen, pudding, and parfaits. They all look delicious, but this time, let us introduce this cake that is popular on social media. It's a mousse cake shaped like a strawberry. It looks just like a real strawberry, and it's so cute, isn't it? The surface of the strawberry mousse is coated with strawberry jam-flavored jelly. The mousse has a smooth texture, and it melts in your mouth. The sweetness and the subtle tartness of the strawberry jam are perfect. In the center part, there is strawberry sauce, chocolate, and sponge cake. The sweetness of chocolate added to the strawberries makes it even more delicious. It's not just cute in looks, but the taste is authentic. Next, we will introduce this shop, Kagaya. This shop has only one type of dango on its menu. Let's try the freshly baked dango. It has a savory aroma of soy sauce. The outside is crispy and the inside is chewy. It has a simple taste but is delicious. The size is small, so it's recommended for those who want to try various foods. Next up is Tully's Coffee. It's a coffee brand originating in the U.S. with over 700 stores in Japan. It's a very stylish building that matches the atmosphere of the Kurashiki Beacon historical area. This time, we will introduce a drink which is only available at this store. On top of the espresso shake, it's written in Japanese as Bikan Chiku using chocolate powder. It means Beacon Historical Area. The espresso shake has a sweet flavor of milk, making it easy to drink. The texture of the small crushed ice is a nice accent. It's a special shake that you can only enjoy here, so be sure to give it a try. Next place is Snoopy Chocolat Kurashiki. It's a specialty shop for Snoopy merchandise that opened in 2020. Inside the shop with a Japanese-themed interior, 
there are a variety of items, including exclusive ones made from denim fabric. The shop has many chocolate items, but this time we will introduce the one which is only available at this shop. This is roll stick chocolate, the most popular item. The book-shaped box is cute. It's coated with colorful chocolate on thinly baked snack dough. The chocolate has a subtle strawberry flavor and sweetness. The dough has a light and crispy texture. It's perfect for a souvenir. Next up is this shop called Shirakabe. It's a specialty shop for fried foods. This time, we will introduce two types of food. First, we will have the menchikatsu. They are always frying them in the store so you can enjoy them piping hot. Meat juices overflow from the ground meat inside. There are plenty of onions so it has a nice texture and sweetness. The aroma of black pepper is nice. Next up is the most popular curry bread at this shop. It's deep fried, so the outside is crispy and the inside is chewy. Inside, there is curry and plenty of cheese. The curry is not spicy and it has a sweet flavor. The cheese is melted and creamy. When we went, it was sold out in the evening, so we recommend buying it early. The next place we will introduce is Haremo Kemo. It's a hidden sweet specialty shop located a bit away from the center of this area. We'll recommend two types of sweets. First one is the Basque Cheesecake. It's the most popular sweets at this shop. The surface is baked, so it has a nice aroma. It's moist and has a smooth texture. The rich cheese flavor spreads in your mouth and is addictive. Next is the chocolate sandwich. Chocolate cream is sandwiched between cookies made with rice flour. The cookies have just the right amount of sweetness and the chocolate is bitter. It has a pleasant aroma of cocoa. It's a delightful chocolate dessert with a subtle sweetness and an elegant flavor. The next shop is Kinsha Croquette. The cheese corn dog is also recommended, but we will introduce this croquette. It sells over a thousand of them in a day, the most popular one at this shop. The coating is light, giving it a crispy texture. It's combined with Wagyu minced meat and potatoes. The Wagyu and sweetness of onions go well together. It's great that the price is affordable. The next shop is Miffy Kurano Kitchen Kroshki. It's a specialty shop for Miffy merchandise with nine branches at popular tourist spots all over Japan. There are lots of cute Miffy items that you can only find in Japan. At this shop, they make and bake breads from scratch right inside the store. The pleasant aroma of bread fills the store. This time, we'll introduce three especially recommended breads. First, let's start with Ampan. It's in the shape of Miffy's face and it's adorable. The bread dough is soft and moist. Inside, there is Koshian, smooth, sweet red bean paste. It goes well with the bread. The next one is a square-shaped bread. It's made by using two different dough colors, and Miffy is stamped on it. Inside, there is custard cream. It has the sweetness of pudding and a creamy texture. This is an exclusive bread available only at this shop, so you should try it. This bread is also an exclusive item available only at the Kroshki store. The dough of this bread is similar to pie dough that is layered and baked. It's topped with strawberry chocolate and almonds. The dough is soft and has a sweetness of butter. The subtle tartness of strawberries and the texture of almonds give it a nice accent. All of the freshly baked 
Adorable breads are highly recommended. The next place is Tonono Bacon. This shop specializes in smoked foods and sells smoked bacon and cheese. They don't use any additives or preservatives. The bacon skewers and onigiri are so popular. This time, we'll especially recommend four items. First, let us introduce the pork bacon skewer. It's made using Iberian pork. It's fatty and melts in your mouth. It would go well with wine. The next one is bacon, made with brand pork from Okayama Prefecture. It's smoked with spices, giving it a pleasant aroma. It has the sweetness of pork and it's juicy. It's sliced thick, but tender and moist. This is a taste that makes you want to have a beer. Next, we will have onigiri. The size is large and it has a nice aroma of seaweed. Inside, there is salmon. The salmon is smoked, so it has a richer and more flavorful taste. It also contains pickled daikon radish called Iburi Gakko, which has been smoked, giving it a crunchy texture. Let us introduce another onigiri. Inside, there is smoked and finely chopped bacon. It's seasoned with yuzu and miso, so you can enjoy the citrusy aroma and the sweetness of miso. Everything on the menu is delicious, and it's a highly recommended place. Next, we will introduce Kurashiki Momoko Main Store. It's the flagship store of the place where we had peach soft serve ice cream earlier. There are a variety of sweets, but we'll introduce a gelato and cakes that are not available at the previous shop. Let's start with gelato. It's made with shy musket grapes from Okayama Prefecture. It has a wonderful aroma of musket grapes. The juice spreads in your mouth, making you feel like you're eating the musket grapes themselves. It's sweet, but the aftertaste is refreshing. The next one is the canned cake. It has layers of peaches, whipped cream, sponge cake, and peach jelly. It's made with white peaches from Okayama Prefecture. The whipped cream has the natural sweetness of milk. It's not too sweet, so it enhances the peach flavor even more. The sponge cake is soft and fluffy. The peach jelly is sweet and creamy. This cake is recommended for peach lovers. Finally, let us introduce the shop we highly recommend in this area. It's Kurashiki Sandwich Kitchen, a sandwich specialty shop that opened in 2019. They cook it after you order so you can enjoy it freshly cooked. It's a very popular shop, and you might have to wait for over an hour from the time you order until your sandwich is ready. So, it's better to go at the opening time, which is 11 a.m. This time, we will introduce the popular sandwiches, ranking first and second at this shop. First, let's start with the second ranked one, the pork cutlet sandwich. It's sandwiched between toasted breads with the pork cutlet made with brand pork from Okayama. The pork cutlet is thick and it's incredibly tender. It has just the right amount of fat. The sauce, which is a combination of ketchup and red wine, has a rich and fruity flavor. It's nice that it's cut into bite-sized pieces, making it easy to eat. The last one we're introducing is the first-ranked popular egg sandwich. The half-cooked omelet is deep-fried with a thin coating. The outside of the bread is crispy and the inside is fluffy. The egg melts in your mouth, making it incredibly delicious. The perfect amount of spiciness from the Karashi mayonnaise adds a wonderful flavor. I've never had an egg sandwich this delicious before. 
If there's any restaurant you'd like us to introduce, let us know in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Well, that's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!